So Jessica is um, Haven's mom, and they got quite a story to tell. What does she have in the most basic of terms? So she has vaccal association, polysplenia syndrome, Hirschsprung's disease, a connective tissue disorder, um, and hearing impairment. Uh, she has motility issues, amblyopia and spotting of the retinas. Uh, her feet are fused together, so she thinks she's a mermaid. Oh. And I can I can deal with the medical stuff, but if I didn't have her little personality to help me through yeah. it. It takes a very special guy to walk into somebody's life and not only fall in love with you, but also fall in love with your child that has a whole different set of circumstances um, and obstacles. And as I understand it, you guys were on your second date. Yeah, and uh, he came to the hospital. She was crying and upset, and he asked me if he could help. And he was like the first guy to ever say, can I come to the hospital? Two weeks in, I'm like, I don't know. You're going to run off if you see this. <laughs> I walked in there, and, and she was like in pain. She said, I need somebody to rub my head. And so I was like, you know, I'll do it, because I, I realized Jessica was really tired. So I walked up there, and I rubbed her head, and I started singing a song. And out of this big six-foot-five nerdy man came this angelic voice. <laughs> And as soon as he started singing to her, I was like, oh, crap, I'm going to love him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm her world. She's my world. And it's like, there's no doubt about it. For the most part, it's just me and her. You know, 35 appointments a month, hit the ground running, I work full time. And then we get in the door and we do our medical stuff, and then I have to go to bed. He comes along and he's like, do you need to sleep? I watch her. And he cleans when he's nervous or upset, which is great. I'm like, I totally want to pick a fight with you, Sue, so in the kitchen. So, you know, and he's funny and he's great with the kids. And he's got three kids and I always wanted a big family. When you start dating somebody and they got kids, you got kids, it's kind of like, how's that going to mesh? And I think Haven said something like, uh, are, you new, are you my new family? And so, like, it kind of, it was like, yeah, we are, you know. So I'm getting choked up about it. <laughs> For Brandon, it was kind of a thing, hey, can we really get him something special and so when I could be you know a part of it and our family could actually do something for his family that we could provide an engagement ring in a small way was a blessing for us. There's gonna be some tears for sure. I'll probably cry before she does though. Yeah, he never lets me down. And do you mind if I say something on that? So we've both been through hard times, emotional scars and countless pain. Through that pain we often ask God why? Wondering what plan he has for us, wondering why he lets us go through it. Now I know why, and all my questions are being answered. The answer was you. I never truly believed in soulmates or ever wanted to get married, but you showed me what true love is and made me believe in the Father's plan once more. His plan is perfect, and I'm honored he chose and crafted such a beautiful person inside and out to be in my life. And to make that official, baby, will you marry no. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> of course I will. See that? He asked me to marry him. I want to show everybody. <laughs> <laughs> so, we need to thank Solomon Brothers. Oh, yes. It is our pleasure. And congratulations to both of you. Yeah, Sandals Resorts is going to send you guys on your honeymoon. Oh, are you serious? Yes. No, I'm going to try. <laughs> hey, congratulations, you guys. Thank you guys Thank so you much. Thank, Thank you for everything. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> what does Whoa, she want? A brother and a sister? Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> you, you have three. <laughs> <laughs>